Hey guys, now let's jump right into it. Chile actually just got hit with a, I think a 6.3 magnitude. I did told, I did said yesterday, told you guys to keep an eye on certain area. All right. Chile just happened to be one of them. Now, once again, folks, I'm going to tell you what's going to be happening in the next few days with these seismic activity. And mark my word, these are these are the things that's going to unfold, all right? I've been doing it for a long time. Once again, keep your eyes on Chile and Peru. Chile and Peru, if you guys are watching my video, you guys are going to get a ton of seismic activity. Most of these activities are going to be on the shorelines, okay? So if you live close to the shorelines, you're going to feel these seismic activity. Again, Chile, Peru, you're in trouble, all right? Let's go to Japan. Japan, there's a huge quake coming for you guys. I cannot say this enough. I can't stress it enough. Japan is going to get one of the biggest earthquakes in a long time. It's going to hit Japan. Mark my word. Japan, it's coming, all right? Uh, Taiwan, keep an eye on Taiwan. Another place, New uh, Papua New Guinea and Fiji. These seismic activity is going to trickle over to Papua New Guinea and Fiji. These are small islands. They're like uh, south of Indonesia and Japan and north of uh, New Zealand. It's like the Caribbean, a bunch of little small little islands. Quakes are going to be hit in that area very soon and pretty bad too. Now, the New Madrid fault line. The New Madrid fault line, folks. It's going to start acting up again. Yes, I said it. The New Madrid fault line is going to start acting up. Missouri, Oklahoma, uh, Tennessee, uh, going up further up north on the East Coast. You guys are going to get seismic activity. Head on a swivel. It's coming. And there's nothing you can do about it. All right, guys. Now, let me add to this video moving forward. Learn to be self-sufficient. Always have a bug out bag for every single member in your family. It's going to be very important very soon. And you'll see why. That's why I'm starting up a podcast. I'm going to be start explaining these things. Why I keep saying it. How to prepare yourself and what to expect. All right, guys? So, just letting you know, uh, it will be up in like a week, week and a half, where you can listen to me. I could talk for hours about it without any restriction. So, that's the reason why I decide to do it, because I get a ton of questions on these topic, and I cannot put all of them in, in such a short video. So, a friend of mine gave me this great advice. Why don't you just start a podcast and talk to these people? He saw the amount of emails and inboxes I get, messages in my inboxes I get, and said, Nick, this is how you're going to solve this problem. So I decided to do it. It might take a little bit of my time, but I know there's people out there that need the information. All right, guys. So once again, as I said before, Chile got hit with a 6.3 magnitude, and there's more coming for that area. So head on a swivel. I just want to always thank you guys for always watching my video, sharing my video. I get a ton of message, folks. I can't reply to all of them. I am so sorry. I, I'm trying my best, but I still have a life to live. All right. So, um, you know, the podcast would help me answer these questions uh, and these concerns that people have and always send to me. And I really, really do appreciate it. I see where these videos are actually helping people and people are actually getting the point and people are waking up. So I guess my purpose here on earth is now being fulfilled. I do believe deep in my heart, this is what I was put here for. Um, I, I don't know how I fall into it. I can't explain how I'm doing it, but it is what it is. So take it for what it is. Thank you. And you guys have a great afternoon. And once again, my podcast is coming very, very soon where you can get all the information at your will.